everyone and welcome back to my channel. So, I'm gonna pop the question. Do you even waffle? Because in today's video, I'm gonna be filming a full day of eating waffles. Now, it's in the name, as you can tell, Waffles with Layla. So this is gonna be an amazing video. I'm gonna be having waffles for my breakfast, my snack, my lunch, my dinner. You name it, we're gonna be waffling all day. So if you don't know where I got the name tag Waffles with Layla with, then I will leave a little information box here that you guys can click on to watch later because there's a bit of a story behind it. But yeah, if you couldn't tell, I do love a waffle and I don't know why I haven't made this video yet. Out of all the food challenges that I've created on my channel, this one is just literally calling my name. So without further ado, I'm gonna be going into the kitchen now and making my breakfast. And I thought to myself, seeing as I'm gonna be having waffles all day, I'm gonna mix this up. So a... Are you sure about that? common breakfast to have is cereal so I thought let's jazz it up by making waffle cereal and I'm going to be using my favorite kind of flavored biscuit which is a Biscoff and Biscoff spread so yeah let's go into the kitchen get crafty make waffle cereal and enjoy it <laughs> breakfast is complete and it is what I would call absolutely fabulous. I thoroughly enjoyed that and I do recommend having waffle cereal. It's just a fun creative way of having your breakfast so why not? The waffle recipe that I use is just my standard protein waffle recipe so I'll leave all the recipes within the video in the description box down below if you guys want to follow along to any of them. And the great thing about a waffle is that you can make them both sweet or savoury, which is going to be really good for my lunches and my dinners, and I have a few treats up my sleeve throughout the day. However, I'm going to be catching you guys now at my pre-workout snack because it is a training day for me today. I'm going to be training upper body, which I am going to be including it within this video because I'm going to be filming the workout in my room with my current setup here in my bedroom because we are in lockdown at 2.0 in the UK, so I'm going to throw in a workout here. <laughs> Anyways, I'll catch you at my waffle snack. So, it is snack time now, and I've changed into some workout attire for my workout later on today. But, for my snack, I was thinking of recreating a s'more, but in the form of a waffle. That is just a bit different, a bit of me, and I'm feeling it. So, that's what we're going to try and recreate. So you would have seen earlier that I used my large waffle maker, which is the original waffle maker that I used in uni and lost my waffleness to. But I'm going to be using this mini one, which I used in my 10,000 calorie challenge. In fact, I bought it for that purpose. And I've used it ever since then and loved it. So it may even like surpass the large one. It's just so cute and it makes the best pancakes ever. I'll leave the link in the description box down below if you're interested. But yeah, I'm going to set the camera aside and I'm going to try and make this small waffle. So for this recipe, it's going to be similar to the recipe that I used earlier on in this video for my protein Biscoff waffles. But instead of using the salted caramel protein powder, I'm going to be using the dark chocolate vegan blend by My Protein, And I'm going to be chucking in that there. And then I'm also going to be using some plain flour with that. Some chia seeds and some almond milk. Then you just want to whisk that all together. Oh, oh. 
and that mixture there should be enough for two waffles to be able to make my little s'mores waffle sandwich thing. So let's get the waffle maker in, chuck it all in there and let's see how it goes. So now that we have two waffles, I'm going to make them into a small sandwich by adding chocolate chips and marshmallows between them, placing them on the waffle maker again to squish them down, and then we will see what the insides are saying. <laughs> Guys, as you can see, that was a total success. Now, how are these for small waffles? Honestly, this is a great snack. I've never really enjoyed s'mores. The whole concept of it is quite messy, but I love the small combo, and this is not messy at all, and it looks absolutely fabulous. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my god, that tastes absolutely incredible. <laughs> So I used these pumpkin spice marshmallows from the vegan kind and then I used some dark chocolate chips inside of these and wow, I'm impressed. I took a little taste test there, absolutely fabulous. I'm going to gobble this up for my little pre-workout snack. Another bite because it's absolutely fabulous. <laughs> and I'll probably catch you at my workout but let's take another little squeeze of this small waffle sandwich. Look at the marshmallow in that. Look at the dark chocolate. I highly recommend. Waffle you later. <laughs> So we are ready for a mission workout and as you would have seen in my birthday vlog which I'm actually filming this video before that so I hope you enjoyed that vlog and I hope I enjoyed my birthday future Layla. <laughs> but yeah you would have seen that I wrote out my workout plan um, which I'm going to be using through the weeks of lockdown since we are locked out of the gyms which is unfortunate. I do have this gym equipment which I would have shown you in the vlog as well. So I'm going to be making use of that for my workout this afternoon. I'm going to be hitting up an upper body session as well as a core session. So without further ado, let's get to it. Because I inhaled that waffle this morning and I need another waffle in my life. Fabulous. 
you don't have to have equipment at home. All of this equipment is pretty old. I've had it in my garage for over like six years. I just brought it in my room because of the lockdown measures and it's proven to be handy, but you can hit up a good at home workout without weights if you really wanted to. You just need time under tension. You need some resistance in there. Get yourself some resistance band and that's really gonna help assist out. Personally, I don't feel really challenged without weights. I love using weights, it makes me feel great. The feeling that I get after a session is just amazing and it makes me feel great. So that's how I like to personally train. It's completely up to you how you like to. I know a lot of people are like, why don't you show at home workouts? That's just not my personal preference. You'll just have to find someone else for that, I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go inside the kitchen now because I'm thinking of making my post-workout lunch, which I thought I would make some tacos. So I'm obviously gonna waffle them. I'm thinking sweet potato taco waffles, stuffed with some like tofu, some lettuce, avocado, some soy yogurt, all that jazz, anything that formulates a vegan taco, I'm gonna place inside. And hopefully it's gonna taste really nice and look really nice as well in its waffle form. And then, guys, as you know I need dessert, I'm gonna attempt to waffle one of these gooey salted caramel cookies, which are one of my favourites by My Vegan, as well as, wait a second, these salted caramel cookies as well, they're absolutely incredible. But today, right now, I fancy myself this gooey filled one, so that's what I'm gonna have. So if you haven't yet tried one of those cookies, I really urge that you do, I'm not forcing it, but the link is in the description box down below with a discount code to save your pennies. I'm just saying, they're really nice. <laughs> All right, let's go inside and chef something up. Okay, so as you would have seen, they're not quite tacos, but it is a deconstructed taco plate because I realized when I formalized these sweet potato waffles, they weren't actually big enough to hold things down. So these will do, they look very nice, it looks very appetizing, so I cannot wait to dig in. But oh my gosh, did we have a look at the sight of that gooey filled cookie in that waffle maker? Honestly, I can't wait to tear this apart because it looks delicious. Firstly, let's get a bit of everything on this plate on a fork and let's do a little taste test. So we've got some vegan cheese on there, some coriander, some tomatoes, some avocado, lettuce, some grilled tofu, basically everything that would usually be in a taco is on this plate. It's just a deconstructed taco plate, so I can't complain, it looks very delicious. Let's get a bit of everything on this fork. So that's my attempt of getting everything on the fork. Let's shove it in my mouth. <laughs> the sweetness from the sweet potato waffle, the cheesiness from the vegan cheese, the crunchiness from the grilled tofu, and everything else to go along with it makes that very delicious. I really, really like that and I'm gonna enjoy it for my post-workout lunch, very much so. I'm quite happy with how the day is planning out so far. Like, I didn't think that it would be this great, but I really do think it is really great. 
Now, I'm going to eat this by myself because I want to enjoy my cookie and I love just eating by myself and enjoying the food that I'm having, sink in with my own thoughts and really embrace what I'm eating. But I really wanted to tear inside of this because, like it says, it's a gooey filled cookie so it must be gooey inside, right? Well, let's have a look. <laughs> oh, yes. That has done me really proud. Look at that, guys. Wow. I really love that. <laughs> so usually I would heat those cookies up in the microwave for around 20 seconds, but I placed it in the waffle maker for around 30 seconds until it became an actual cookie waffle. And the gooiness, it's falling out. Look at it. Oh, it's just so incredible. Okay, maybe we'll do a little taste test for you guys. How can we not? It'd be rude not to. <coughs> That is so gooey and it's all stuck in between my teeth. But I'm going to love you and leave you here for now guys because I'm really going to enjoy my waffles. And I'll probably catch you at dinner time. Alright, so it has now reached dinner time and I'm thinking of making my all time favourite. I'm going to be waffling up a chickpea omelette. Except it's not going to be an omelette, it's going to be a chickpea waffle. And then I'm going to top it with my all time favourite savoury topping which is shiitake mushrooms with garlic. I love a garlicky mushroom, so delicious. So that's what I'm feeling for my dinner. I'm going to waffle it all up and then for my dessert, I'm going to save that for later. I'm going to have my dinner and then I'm going to be joined by Grace because we plan to watch a movie tonight. So I thought we would make like a waffle dessert together and it's just a bit of fun before I have work tomorrow. So yeah, let's go make some dinner and then I will meet you then. That chickpea waffle was delightful, but we are ready for desserts, aren't we, girl? Yeah. And we thought we should make some deconstructed ice cream waffle cones. These are just from Tesco, the Tesco basic range. But the idea is just to stick a waffle cone on a plate, um, sprinkle on some goods with some ice cream. And the ice cream that I went for is the Outpro chocolate one. Which one have you gone for, Grace? I went for the raw plant-based ice cream the chocolate brownie flavor, which is also really good. So we're gonna whiz up our waffle cone deconstructed plates, and then you guys are gonna let us know whose one is best. Oh, obviously it's mine, obviously. Obviously, yeah, obviously, obviously it's mine. No, <laughs> mine. <laughs> Okay, so here are our waffle cones. We're gonna eat this up whilst watching a movie. Should we chin chin? Yep. Cheers. 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 Let's gobble this up and enjoy the movie. Yeah. <laughs> so we are in Grace's room about to watch our movie. What are we watching, Grace? Operation Christmas Drop. Yeah, so we're going to be watching Operation Christmas Drop on Netflix because Christmas is coming and all the Christmas movies are dropping on Netflix. So I thought it'd be lovely for us to watch that on this Sunday Eve, isn't it, Grace? Let's have our dessert. Yes. <laughs> Right, 
Right guys, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you like this video by giving me a big thumbs up. I could honestly think of a million and one ways to waffle. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the ways I've waffled in this video. You will see more of Grace in a future video because we are planning some Christmas content together. But for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>